Hi N9, welcome back to this week's podcast. This week we are going to be focused on the character of the nurse from the play Romeo and Juliet. We have got with us Miss Thornhill, Miss Dander, and Miss Smith. And me, Miss Green. So let's just start off by thinking about the nurse's character in general and what we already know about her. So we know that she cared for Juliet. She um, is obviously a strong mother figure in Juliet's life. Yeah. And the reason for that is because the Capulets are obviously a wealthy family and it wouldn't be unusual for them to have a nurse living in the home that would be taking over the responsibility of childcare. So that's why Juliet and the nurse have such a close relationship. Yeah, she's not uh, a nurse. Uh, in the sense that uh, we understand that that word in modern society she's like a nanny a living nanny yeah. and she's um, more than just a nanny because she had her own child at the same time that Juliet was born who died so she uh, actually nursed Juliet she breastfed her so they've got a, a strong bond so it's sort of like she wasn't able to be a mother to her own child so she's putting all that on Juliet she's yeah. that's, that's why she is so emotional and so close probably more than any other nurse would yeah, have been she's closer to her than her own mother juliet's mother is quite cold towards her isn't she it's more yeah. of a kind of um teacher pupil relationship with those two yeah because she's sort of trying to guide her she calls her back doesn't she when when juliet's mother wants to speak to juliet and she sends the nurse away and then she calls her back she feels like she yeah. needs her there she can't address her own daughter she doesn't know how to speak to her own daughter does she and i think that's why juliet confides in the nurse doesn't she because she doesn't trust her mother does she no really? no and the nurse has more of an understanding of the nurse is seen as a lot being a lot more warm and warm-hearted she's very loving and tender and caring. yeah which is probably why juliet can go to her with these sort of things which were probably if she told her mum, um lady capula um i really like romeo he's a montague it would have been a total different response yeah, down yeah, to how the nurse is yeah it. She completely would have disallowed she would have been obeying what her parents um have set out for her which is why she goes to the nurse because she thinks that the nurse will have an understanding of her um problems and yeah it's, it's interesting because if we look at the other servants of the capulets and the montagues they're loyal to their masters well, she, she's she's not really is she her loyalty lies with juliet her life's about Juliet, so we find the servants fighting each other in the street at the start, but um, the nurse kind of doesn't seem to get involved in the hatred. Yeah, it shows Martins. again just how emotionally invested she is with Juliet. And I think the fact also that she has good intentions is important Yeah, when we think about why other, for example, like Lady Capula and Lord Capula are more interested in Juliet being married to somebody that's appropriate and their status, whereas the nurse cares for her genuine happiness. Yeah, and she's torn, isn't she? She's torn between her loyalty towards the family and obviously her place in society, but also well, she wants Juliet, Juliet to be happy. She wants yeah. to, be, to be happy and to be in love, just yeah. like Juliet's father does at the start of the play, doesn't he? Um, he wants Paris to woo her and to get her heart. Yeah, and there's a quote that's said by the nurse. Um, oh yeah, when she says that uh, thou wast the prettiest baby that I ever nursed. Yeah, so it, by her calling the um, Juliet the most beautiful, the most prettiest baby she's ever nursed, it's sort of a bit strange because she's had her own child. That's parental bias, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. So it's sort of like she's... Sees her as her own child. Yeah. And perhaps the audience can sort of understand the nurses the choices that she makes when she allows yeah. them to get married and she's the messenger because of the relationship i think we can as a modern audience with hindsight but i think uh, an elizabethan audience would have been totally against her and i think that's why she's given um that comedic side to a character as well so that the audience doesn't turn against her completely because she is being disloyal she's dishonoring the family yeah she has good intentions but um the good intentions lead to the deaths yeah of juliet and romeo so in hindsight we can say you know oh she has good intentions but 
Yeah, I agree. I think we could stop it there. So, we'll see you next week for the next podcast. Bye. Bye.